In the late 1970s and the early 1980s, access to certain amenities and basic human needs were very minimal. The little available facilities were mostly accessible or limited to parts of urban Gambia. The absence of or limited access to certain basic needs made life difficult for the larger population, particularly those in rural Gambia. But there was one organization that was responding to the needs of the marginalized people to improve access to basic services. Action Aid the Gambia became the second country program in Africa to be established by Action Aid International, a British registered international non governmental organization that had assigned itself the noble task of working in partnership with marginalized communities in Africa, Asia, Latin America to eradicate poverty by overcoming the injustice and inequality that are its root causes. Action Aid started in the Gambia in 1979 and uh, when they came into the Gambia the program they started with was uh, adult literacy um, focusing on people who have missed on education and bringing them together trying to take them through adult literacy so that uh, they are able to understand the basics um, in terms of writing and, uh, and uh, calculating some basic um, arithmetic. After some time, we realized that adult literacy is not adequate because we had so many children around who were not going to school. And if those children um, are not uh, really um, taken into account, they'll also be missing out on education. So we went into establishing primary schools um, where teachers were recruited and trained and uh, who were actually teaching in the schools. Actually, in 1981, Build then, so I'm part of my Jacanaka country diet to act on it with Gambia. Ganawam, Kunyawa, Robin Paltin, Nyonafi. And Robin Paltin, I build then you again, I am to all very young. I can ask you to go to Kinjanga, Mang Jango de West. You again, I am to a ferry, Mang Jango de West, Kamli Matapali, Yep, she come coming to our blue coniru. She is could be like a young good teacher act on it. Demna ganaw gi demna fi South Africa Malawi fu ne way luñ bind sama ko ngi gisé man nako jang ndeglo It's 40 years now since Action Aid country program started operating in the Gambia and had over the years undergone different strategic shifts to reflect changes in the organization's global strategies to attain its mission as well as to meet the changing needs of the poverty situation in the Gambia After some time we also realized that uh, uh, development is not just about one sector, that is education. As important as it is, um, we needed to look at other aspects of people's lives. So we decided to um, expand and started developing what we call an integrated development program. Started looking at uh, food security, where um, the smallholder farmers were supported in terms of uh, getting their inputs for agriculture, food production, um, went into gardening, and uh, orchard development. Um, we also expanded into health, We're looking at the health of people, because if people are not healthy, they cannot engage you know, meaningfully in development. Um, shortly after that, we also went into the issue of environment, because for there to be sustainability in food production, the environment has to be conducive. Basically, it was uh, all about providing services to the people. That was the beginning of Action Aid in the Gambia. In the Garden Vita, Action 
Il y a des gens qui ont fait des was mainly on service delivery with intervention in the areas of basic education, child sponsorship, agriculture, food security, health, credit schemes, construction, and maintenance of causeways and bridges and the provision of water. Over time, Action Aid redirected its focus, adopting rights-based approach to development. The key reason why we shifted away from service de delivery to more of a uh, rice-based approach was the fact that uh, where are you providing everything to people and you are not giving them the space to be part of the decision making, they become dependent on, on, on you. So if you are to move away, you know, everything will collapse. We know that for development to be sustainable, the environment has to be conducive, the policies and laws have to be in favor of the people and for that to happen people have to engage with duty bearers and policy and lawmakers to make sure that their priorities and issues that affect them actually taken into account when laws are being made. Since its establishment in 1979, Action Aid the Gambia continued to further its rootedness in communities through long-term programming in three local rights programs, LRPs, that covers 140 communities in four districts, namely Nyamina East, Nyamina West, Nyamina Dankunku in Central River Region and Upper Nyumi in North Bank Region. When Action Aid started in uh, 1979, they were working in, in regions, we call them regions, the Western Region and the Eastern Region. From there, we changed the name into what we call target areas. So we had target areas, target area one, target area two, target area three. But at some point, we decided to change the name from target area to rural development area. That's how we were operating until we were changing our approach from service delivery to HRBA, human rights based approach. When we changed to HRBA, we decided also to change the name to align it with the approach that we are taking. That is why now we have what we call LRPs, that is local rights programs. For Action Aid, uh, the target is the most vulnerable. And if you look at uh, this most vulnerable, yes, they could be anywhere, but I think the concentration is in, in rural areas, in the rural settings. The LRPs are the implementing agents of Action Aid. They mainly implement uh, activities directly. Uh, if you looked at presently, uh, Action Aid Gambia has developed uh, what we call the uh, country strategy paper. And uh, it is these LRPs that are implementing those activities. Action Aid the Gambia develops a country strategy paper, CSP, every five years to guide its operations. The current country strategy paper, CSP5, guides the organization to deepen its work and programming using the human rights-based approach, HRBA. Over the five-year period, we design strategic objectives based on the priorities of the people and uh, look at what approaches that we need to um, embark on to be able to deliver on those priorities and what will be the roles of the communities, what will be our role, what will be the roles of other stakeholders in the implementation process. Every other stakeholder within the country actually is consulted to make sure that they are part of the country strategy paper. Having gone through different strategic shifts, guided by different country strategy papers, Action Aid the Gambia became an affiliate of Action Aid International in 2015, giving the country program a more independent status and ability to participate in decision making at international level. Currently, the way we structure ourselves is that we have uh, four departments, excluding the directorate. The first department is the resource mobilization and the fundraising department. We have finance department, programs department, and human resources and organization development department. So each of these plays a role in terms of supporting the program 
for the program to be able to effectively deliver on the CSP to have a positive impact on the lives and livelihoods of the people. But the finances are also well managed and make sure that we have the control systems in place. We have the internal audit to make sure that all the financial resources we are having are well managed and delivered towards ensuring that the um, strategy paper is implemented. Action Aid works through partnership with community-based organizations, rural women assembly, vulnerable groups including young people and people living with HIV and AIDS and other like-minded organizations to implement its program activities. Action Aid valued uh, working with partners a lot. Um, as part of the paradigm shifts that the organization has taken over the years. So we work with partners at two levels, at community and at national levels. And this is part of uh, our organizational values and principles, one of which is humility. And it's basically to understand that in the whole crusade of development work, we are not the only players. There are only other players that can add value to what we are doing to be able to eradicate poverty. Over the years, Action Aid the Gambia has been implementing different projects aimed at curbing poverty in general and specifically to empower women and achieve gender equity, promote civic awareness for good governance, accountability and supporting communities to adapt climate resilient, sustainable agriculture to adapt and mitigate the impact of climate change and irregular migration. Action Aid also works on policy advocacy for women's rights, gender responsive public services, and good governance. The main sources of funding for Action Aid's interventions are through child sponsorship and philanthropists. The European Union, through the Gambia delegation, Margaret A. Cargill Foundation, Amplified Change, the British High Commission, Global Fund for AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria, and the UN system. When you look at Action Aid country strategy papers developed, in most cases, our mainstream funding source, which is child sponsorship, is not able to fund all of the aims and objectives. So the rest of the, the resources is mobilized outside. And the European Union has been a very significant contributor to resources in terms of um, implementing our CSP but also other donors and philanthropists like the Margaret A. Cargill. We have UNDP, the Amplify Change, have been very significantly contributing to the needed resources to be able to implement the, the CSP, which is as well connected to the National Development Plan and the SGDs. So these are very significant partners and donors that are supporting Action Need in our drive towards uh, achieving the CSP goals. Most part of Action Aid's intervention projects, particularly the Agroecology and Resilience Project, the Agroecology and Eco Restoration Project, and other EU funded projects, were concentrated on empowering smallholder farmers, particularly women, by providing them with alternative livelihood skills such as soap making, beekeeping, vegetable gardening, tie and dye, and batik and business management skills while others focus on women empowerment, economic, leadership, and gender-based violence. The Agroecology and Resilience Project was implemented in the Gambia and Senegal and funded by Margaret A. Cargill Foundation in the USA. The project helped to improve the welfare of poor and vulnerable communities in the Gambia and Senegal, which have been negatively affected by the impact of climate change. The project agroecology in 2013, which was implemented by Accident Gambia and Accident Senegal, was a premise on an effect of drought that happened in 2011, that the sub-Saharan Africa is, is really affected. Action Aid designed a multi-country program uh, to implement in the Gambia and in Senegal. It was basically uh, just to build the resilience of uh, farmers and also build their capacities uh, to enhance and to adapt to climate change issues. 
different approaches were used to, to be able to at least uh, build capacities of uh, these uh, farmers uh, so that they can cope with the climate change. Because uh, actually realized that uh, uh, year in, year out, you cannot just be supporting people, but how do you build their capacities? In that drive, we were able to build the capacities of smallholder farmers, especially women, to be able to get prepared in terms of disasters. The other bit is looking at uh, how to enhance or how to adapt uh, new innovations, looking at uh, climate resilient, sustainable agricultural practices so that they can adapt to the changing climate. In the Gambia, the project had worked with smallholder farmers in 18 villages within three districts to build resilience through disaster risk reduction initiatives and climate resilient sustainable agriculture, CRSA. <laughs> Nunto mbuka fentre nka ni hande nka sene abuka wara nunto na balo buka si sama farintale sandolu jio ka siya sandolu jio buka siya aksoni le nata akoni yago atolo ka mungke ya ya sayang yalon jamano chenja la fal si che atolo fal si che nyole sayang al al kana turu klim <laughs> bindere ni etio do kujana ye tu banyo do kujana ye beno do kujana ye bombaro do kujana wo ni o ni o kafunyama abeta ni do mani sora ya bida jana ibu do mani sora jana ibu do mani sora jana abeta aksoni le mur karande wala ye chuno aro dina. Ya masih golod dina, ya falod dina, ya turod dina. Di kabiring ngasih nak ke first time, ngani si perosang. Second time, ngasih wosang. Saya insuwo biang bulu, ngani si perosang biang bulu, falod fanam biang bulu. Saya tole biang bulu, wos saya tolong kasih di wala ni bida ulo konang kama masih ngulus laja dengan asam bau ulo konang adu ko ke ninjit, ngasih dengan masih ulo laja dengan amurundi. Iman lo je mumben dala jeng, hari lo nyinoteng, ngak beta falod le kata kak kolej nang, saya nak bolo buka mangke. Nana bungo fanan dadal, abe ni ngasih nak kena bungo dadal, yang kami domandin 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 min dadal. Hanya korra ngasang kumpul, ni aja ngak korra ngasang kumpul. Seno le akik, ni aja ngak usoro. Akson le lemah koi, ngak seno mungk. Ni ngak awaf, ngak ra ngak 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 korra ngak 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 dul dundi. Fo saya ngak nak korra kai tobe ngak ngak usoro le ngak korra bejo. Anu seno le akik, fenjama mui alam ko masa kunda la bungo bulu manje sino. Akson le kan aja ya bulu sindije. Well, I don't know if I'm going to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance to get a chance. The other one looks at livelihood. We call it alternative livelihoods. Uh, it's also part of resilience building. We have also built the seed and cereal banking, you know, where communities, you know, are really supporting each other with seeds, with quality seeds for that matter. Uh, if you go to some communities now, almost all the women acquired uh, the capital. Uh, they have uh, animal at their disposal. They can sell them, they can solve their social activities. Even in extreme cases where food is not available, they really have a fallback mechanism. <laughs> Afakoibeyangulisorajangakeedimola. Ufana ulu utakote kaya dinkili ulu. Wadinga ufana nata muru kote kaya ufana ufana yedi mfula ulu. Sae alhamdulillahi. Atara fawaro bia mbulu no. Bri ya wadina. Wadina nata yensisi malayando ufana sambana. Ufana bri nata yiko nga tati zeni. Inana na mkumandi jifure. Ndara nda mkuji. Wadina yike kwa wadina. Momo la ulu tansaba. Ya wadina. Wadina nata nganyi mbungo lo wadatu. Masih sel sang, masih sel lagi orang ul sang. Oh kau lalu butuh ngan fana kado mandu malu nanti ni ul satu. Saya ingat tak karang kau, fana kau asalna. Nengan na si sel dindingi tuasi. Nengan na haji jamat ambil digi. Dimba ya bembulu kono, dah ini ngom. Dimba ya la karang diri kunya. Fana la hada mayal. Nengan do mandi satu, satu mandi domo, ngan do mandi mawono, ni sah sata. Mereka kau dorang cikal angkat alat lepitan, nadi nadi sah sah dah. Mereka les, mai sambal lepitan itu lela. The current agroecology and eco restoration project is an extension of the previous agroecology and resilience project. However, 
This new project is being funded by the European Union and it is aimed at contributing to sustainable growth in the agricultural sector, reduce food insecurity and malnutrition and create an enabling environment for improved economic growth. The current project is being implemented in northern part of the Gambia, that is Upper Nyomi, Jokadu, Lower Badibu and Upper Badibu, and also in Central River region south, uh, that is uh, Nyamina East, Nyamina West and Nyamina Dankunku. Uh, the new project came to complement or build on the gains of the previous AER project. But actually, if you look at the new AER, it's, it's, it's really looking at uh, the eco-restoration bit of it, which looks at uh, how do we reduce the dependency on the forest, meaning uh, how can communities reduce their activities on the forest, where we are trying to support them with improved cooking stuff so that uh, you know, it can reduce their dependency on the forest. But we are also trying to build capacities of communities on compost making. We are also supporting them with poultry production, small ruminant production, which is very critical and very key uh, in their livelihood strengthening programs. Sarande sumno kam, njami meeting pakalindi, enga jango imi, de jango imi be jangi ni kam ko abiti heko he oida o engere. Jango me ha par me, enga be itti mo do kalis, ben be di kam, enga chon me oida bagas de mirdo, ben bi enga yo me sod oida matariyer, mbaba, masin chunwar, masin gualo, bil me joga ki bagas mo, ba inde be chua inde heb ondon, min ke barano gori, min ke barano gerte, min ke barano gortu ba, ta me alamo koro komin de mo do tan. Kosi be dawo ima gese to ha bengarti, enga be be mekiti debe ne, dolo be pofta rolo, mina enko mo waktu min imma to min jaha min gawo ya, ta min galaa ha ima sin min galaa mba ba min galaa ma sin aji ha idara, ta mbe ron tampi, kono bilike mi bagas mo, enga min min ga min pokiti ta min yepti bagas amen, gundungu hen kondungu gu mbene gundungu gu gel dumin mo, gu barkini min kebi gerte, min kebi gori, min kebi gortu ba. Minen, minen enon kumbalini haya men. Min ngundu ngudon dungu ngo min kebingu baga sma. Min don hen tambre yeti Allah ya Nabi jo mumbaro mon yeti. Oida, kome henga mumbaro tota jango be school suka be jango be school. Mumbaro be tota lunchi he benja ha he benga. As astore bilim na tile idindi. Kodon henga yimbe be henga duwali yimbe be fof ba ide be kumbalo be tan. CRSA approach is being practiced in schools and community vegetable gardens. Soil conservation through composting, agro-diversification, and agroforestry are becoming common practices both in communal and individual gardens. Climate resilient sustainable agriculture is a solution to farmers' problem. Our human activities uh, try to uh, aggravate uh, climate change issues within the communities. Deforestation is one major uh, area where farmers used to uh, venture into new farmlands because the previous farm uh, is infertile, so they wanted to, they normally encroach in the forest. Uh, that's very critical, which has impacted negatively uh, on the crop production and productivity. So by that way, it is really uh, affecting our, our, our living conditions in terms of food security. You know, yang karandiji alhawala falinya sama kadasa sama buka kuma sa kome aka kuma sa nyame a buka futa nyanta ka futa dame ka fifa njama ka kungu kilungo fanan kono alhawala falinya fanan aka mo ma ko ino go fanan to bakel kome kungu kilungo kono si fifa si fa nan ke no je o saba pour ni kama ni ndula do ma betia dula do si betia no le yang karandi jamba ndol fanan ke nyalla pour jamba ndola kumundi nyalu yang karandi wol belal Kata mo fin jamba no njum purnia ke sene fengoto akati na lele banko chengo bukata akabanko so symbola le ba njuto ba jamba no nika akabanko to dorong ikaje la akabanko chengo njum symbola yo ani atra fanang traki tole njum kome njum ke sene kene traki tole mi fanang o fanang akabanko chengo wurle ha wale ati na njum mo fin jamba no unko wale dada ngasari ni asar dorong oni symbola na albe kile kile njuto dorong isibula ila chunua rol ni la falulta. Yela do kuwa kedoro, iba jela kuwa ida serefeng ato sotaro sotol.
in its drive to strengthen women's rights and economic empowerment, Action Aid The Gambia, in partnership with the European Union, implemented two projects titled Promoting Women's Socioeconomic Rights and Strengthening Women's Economic Initiatives, funded by the European Union. Promoting Women's Socioeconomic Rights Project has made a huge impact on the life of the women in Sierra South, particularly Nyamina West, Nyamina East, and Nyamina Dankungu. The main objective of the project was to enhance women's access and control over productive resources, for example, land, credit, and also to ensure that women have full participation when it comes to decision-making processes. Women were able to lobby the traditional leaders, and they were able to acquire 78 plots of lands. And all these lands were registered in the name of the women groups. Both projects were meant to enhance women's economic empowerment and increase their access and control over productive resources to participate in sustainable economic growth. The current project on strengthening women's economic initiative has a link with the previous project, which is promoting women's socioeconomic rights. We started doing uh, vegetable production in the previous project, but in this one, um, we, we develop these gardens um, to be more useful to the women. In garden, in a sort of I saw it level. In that in a kai to le safe. In that a jang koe konga mo ykali ka garden o di mo lula. In fana na ta unbe kumbo kanga li amnyaji o fita. Katu sai batawar san kang. Ni aja na ta batawar san namu solu kang. Tio buka soto nyo buka soto. Sai ni nga tio se ne san nyo buka si. Nintili kando bota ni nyo watu mbe ulo kono mbe tiyolu karanka. Nsata alikalo ya, alikalo ya keno dina. Inata ye, ye sansango lo nye, bili ya sansa foy pareta. Ngaturo njini, aiso nge tifango nata, aibambeo ay njimbe suma nye. Bila aibambeo suma, o samakono, ngakano luke, otumo jio mansi. Yo ni aja ndu ntanyi ngadi no kono. Puru na jata kendea, anindi ngola jata kendea, mbe wole njini nkanjang. Fonsa soto. Adu ala nata mako ile mba soto kan. Jabolu fele bi alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin. Adu nsa imbe damen to bi. Muso niye kuro ke ifango. Niye sama todu ifango. Niye, niye la dula beto to ifango. Idi wona karanta ifango. Idi wona sasa ta ifango. Sa indu nita mando kuro ke. Ibe kela nyadi. Bila ye mako inyi ngadi inola. Ani mbi tema. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamina. There were also some women who were trained on try and die in the previous project. In this project, these women who are still practicing the skills are given some amount of money to expand their tie dye and soap business. Some women are supported to participate in trade fairs. Another thing the project have done is to give three women milling machines. We normally give machines to women groups, but uh, with this project, machines were given to individual women, and they are doing very well. Oxygen aid defense is needed. Defense is needed. We are the Dimbolinagu <laughs> Davai wal. Suta halenak. Sufinia kur suta wal mutala ma amligi. Mana tal bagal mudem man mawal. Bisbunia kuluma ligi. Luma amrek mabindu. Luma jende gas wal mabindu. Hai buya kosa. Luma ipani mabindu kumanga imbuk. Lata ni am masindi. Chidakubi. Sijafi jafi mitu lindani. Ndaka lindani talk fi bangor. Nyuni singali wal nyuni na wal shi nenduk. Yala jide tau. Ngai nyuni saduam. Iyo do talk sakali basi jafi jafi lainek. Nak mesin biom ni, iri intol ni. Nama random si borang khalis. Nak level mak khalis. Fini bunyai buat je. Lumba bay. Agun beri beri demo kau fahy bor. Makamasi wadi bolak. Iri bi dah fikir ni fikir dia lagbor. 
yalla def na lolou ren nangum amuñ ko te dara walal ko lolou machine bi kon nak ñu ngey yobanté oxane et ak iyu na len jërëjëf ndax machine bi ya gogut ci man dé waye dafa jud njëriñ yu bari ci man in a joint project aim at promoting small scale agricultural communities resilience in central river region to enhance agro processing using solar technology through women empowerment action aid in partnership with mbolo a development organization working to strengthen communities in the gambia and senegal supported skills training for girls on solar installation welding and painting new solar karandiro kabri molia dati folo moy manta direct solar molia dati ni painting and in welding gati ko solar titano welding koma iko fanan solar titano painting koma ye mol samba ji wala mol yewo karan fo at the last end of 6 months wot molo mol yef ñu fonko dati pratical o dati na community first time imam belief no katu kabri mol tata karan na for the first time itol ka fo hoy nene ma ji sunku tondi ka sola karan bari kabri mol saytanan jan ñi installation no la mo jama laata ko kewo ka min keno muso ka mi o sa keno Multifunctional platform centers were also constructed in Kudang Mayo, Sinchunjugari, and Kumbani villages with solar energy and refrigerators to serve as storage facilities for the women's vegetables and also to use for food processing, making ice blocks and charging mobile phones. It is benefiting our communities very well because if you can see before even to have a ice gallows, it was so difficult because they bring it transported from other communities to our communities and the price was so high. In terms of income, I'm having income there because every end of month I help my community on feeding because before everything I need to demand from my people. But now some of my problems I can solve it for myself and solve some of my problems for my family without asking nobody. I would like to thank the funders of the project, EU, Axon 8, and Bolo, who were training us to have the knowledge in us. The implementation of the project on promoting women's socioeconomic rights played a significant role in the inclusion of women in district tribunals. What is the of Axon 8? The Axon 8 is the one who is the Jama <laughs> etara mole kiti bungoto estrategie musole musole en kije ila tan nay ko ngatare kiti bungoto po ngatara siri musol beje dinen te ketan en kiti ko yam goto mbadi musol ya mutam fi ko si ya mutam fi munela e kontantam fi munela e fangol la sama ke wol dam hala taraje wo ndole la njuro soto wo tole mbukam fon la ajo tamandino mbukan di musola ajo tamandino waya tinal ko musol ko ñom musolé ci kité ku yon ko say ni be kan ko tudd la ndol fana ni man sino kewol téma nga fo mbé muso jëlalé nga diyama yé woni na kuma kan wayna a safo wo to nya silom the tribunals are key decision making bodies in the districts that hear several cases and issues that mostly affect women kité ku yon ro problème ki limba kana ji isa ji wati do do ni ndola ku yaato wati do kene ko problem mo wati do fudu problem mo ise ci wodo je fam akana yale na diamu ako ñi ñim problem kaar le benn na mo so tema dool be je nga ka jaal te dem mawul se fo fam bu ka kala mot nga ka jaay bang mo soy kontan ala ni dia soto ke way kontan ala ni dia soto way atinale mo so la si kiti ku yon ko to ay ndol kontan a dia tani ay fitino tala nda mal tema tol musol ay fitino tala nin ke ñol tema ay fitino tala nina di mal tema andum to law be sunda mo nela ak suné la tel fahamu ndo wolen to la wonati kilimbal ya dol ka kenu musol 
sayon atalata bakele na banko to jen sayon ka to yalo na ko molle be sirin kiti bungoto me yalo ko musolle andu wal musolte sonna ko e muso klimbali yake musola pour o etra sabatirin banko kan to buka son wala the district tribunal is presided over by the chief of the district kewol da mani be sirin kiti lalo ko ni ni garbe ni ni garro ni o ko musodo la ike dele ke fanan alao ke bulay fanan ka kuma e kalon e la problem ol mum leti e ke fanan na ko la ko lum mum leti nte mute fe nyaadi le nim malon tol kata tron ka fo muso muso le te tron te nyanta ngam men fol lefta men men na nyanta wala la la ka yaake for so kon kuma ya tabake bake bake muso e tara ko kon the creation of the gender action groups and the women pressure groups in the LRPs has helped raise the awareness of most women on human rights, gender issues, and legal instruments. During the women pressure group, we have to say, 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 we have kambe ngolam kachata dawuda ñu fahamu teji fitinalam kambe mbaliya kulur kolaya kantu di ñew men kulura kon amenta kon afana ngala mararo sama wala ñam most women regard gender based violence as unacceptable and the culture of silence is gradually being eroded mon to sunku do no lañi mboy kan ani mu sol lañi mboy kan uske ba balu ibe boyle ka silo do kan nun to muneya saabu nyomabo ye kola ya doji ndel famol le ya sab birim mol ya je ko fa ha mo fuda taw tole di te ka jele man sa yemuta ibu ka lo yemuta nyaame wayati na jamaa da bondi nyim ku furi ngol kono pour ka kola ya la ndel nin di musol kan sa ye musol ye la nyanto lon karandirol ketale ni ya je ngani ta pour ka lo ka fo me alkali ya nyin na fon ketal ka lo oto karandiro le yen hanyindi na sembo soto woleto annu nga fahamu ro fanan soto woleto nun to men ka ke nyapi muso ka ay malu ata fintin la safo ni nga fo doron be malal mol be bulo chodi lanna le bafala ko ha ye kar le nyapi ka say wo be bota kadu ke wol yaalo ne say ni yaake muso muso la ate malla ate silala ni ya kala droa bitala bafala wala ne say ak wota la ta baake wo be alani asone Several community outreach and advocacy had been conducted in partnership with the Network Against Gender-Based Violence and the Female Lawyers Association (FLAG) to curb the issue of gender-based violence. The establishment of the one-stop centers helped to address and redress some of the gender-based violence cases in the Gambia. As an organization uh, that was established to address issues of uh, gender-based violence in the Gambia. Uh, we have been engaging in different um, activities um, to raise um, the awareness of the general public. Um, one of such activities is community outreach sensitization that we have been doing. And uh, for the past two four to four years, we have gone to all the districts of this country. Um, the network has um, established what we call the one-stop centers. And this is through these one-stop centers and other service providers who also partners with the network that we are able to collect um, data on recorded cases that are reported to the different service points like um, the health uh, workers, where health uh, facilities where the one-stop centers are established, uh, the police, the Department of Social Welfare, Minister of Justice and the Center for Children and uh, also FLAG, Female Lawyers Association, the Gambia. And uh, over the past years, from 2015 to date, we had 2,030 cases of sexual and gender-based violence. And of this, um, over 940 cases were all sexual violence, mostly rape cases. So this has shown uh, that in the Gambia, um, gender-based violence is really prevalent. And that is something that is an issue that needs to be addressed. More than 75% of these victims are children. And they are as young as the youngest one so far we've seen is about 10 months old. 
and the oldest victim is 70 years old. So that's why it's a concern that government, civil society, um, local government authorities, and families in general uh, should pay attention to, to ensure that it is addressed in the Gambia. Another project funded by the European Union was promoting children's rights in three regions, Lower River, Central River, and Upper River regions. Children are viewed as persons with limited capacity to make informed choices and decisions. Their life, survival, and development are largely dependent on, on us as duty bearers. Therefore, it becomes our responsibility to ensure not only are their rights promoted or respected and fulfilled, but also protected against all forms of violence, including sexual violence and harmful traditional practices like FGM, early marriage and forced marriage. Despite the ratification of certain international legal instruments and national laws such as the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child, the African Charter on the Rights and Welfare of the Child, and the enactment of national laws such as the Children's Act 2005 and the Women's Act 2010, children, particularly young girls, are still vulnerable and face many rights violations and denials, including abuse, violence, and exploitation. There are many types of child rights violations, such as rape, teenage pregnancy, and child marriage. The project is important to me because it sensitizes me on different things, such as life skills, assertiveness, and the harmful effects of child marriage. Because and the project promotes the rights of children to ensure that their needs are respected and fulfilled. To share me have taught me about the negative effects of child marriage. So I don't think my parents will involve me into such. And also harmful traditional practices. I don't think I will put my child or tell another person to involve his or her child to this FGM because it has a lot of negative impacts into people's health. Action Aid The Gambia continues to advocate for and support quality education in the LRPs. Over the years, the organization has been supporting the Mothers Club in schools to have greater influence in the school management committees, which contributed to parity and retention of children in schools, particularly girls, through advocacy and the introduction of school feeding program. <laughs> Kadu 
kakarambo sembien tu ya ona ta ke din dun la do mor karol te ba nga nyambole sen biri nga wafi nga ko do men soto yi nga landil min ta biro be kirin abukasi din dun be buka jo ni nga ju be man kitab men na e ka ko do le ta e ka aka fu ko ba ko through action aids gift fund which is an additional donation from child sponsorship over 6000 school children in the LRPs were supported with learning materials 10 lower basic school in Nyamino West were supported with about $250,000 through their school development fund to have access to learning materials and improve their school facilities for a better learning condition. When you talk of quality education, I definitely you would uh, agree with me that you cannot get quality education if you do not get the right materials. So Action Aid uh, provides sometimes money to, to, to school to, to, so that they can acquire some of these materials that they need to enhance the learning and the teaching process. When you talk about sponsorship, is um, one of the fundraising mechanisms in Action Aid International uh, perspective. We raise funds uh, through individual given from UK and Italy through a child on behalf of a community. Child sponsorship entails a collecting of profiles, child messages, and a success reports of programs in the communities. When we collect these messages, uh, we have a database in the office where we uh, normally uh, input all the messages. We have sponsorship field workers based in the communities who collect messages from the sponsored children under the supervision of the sponsorship field coordinator. Apart from the program work we do in the communities, children also have direct benefit during message collection. We provide them with books, pencils, school bags, shoes, second-hand clothing. We also have free food and phone days during message collection period. The phones raised are used to support the communities through the Apexes and EcoZone, who are our partners on the ground, to be used for program works. We believe that without supporting our smallholder farmers, the dream of becoming a hunger free might be very difficult. Therefore, Activista goes with this slogan, up with justice, down with hunger. Working with young people through advocacy, lobbying and campaign is very key in Action Aid's work. Thus, Action Aid supported the youth network. Activista the Gambia to conduct a series of advocacy and campaign on women's land rights, campaign and advocacy on youth political participation, promoting peace and peaceful coexistence, irregular migration and reintegration of returnees, campaign against FGM and human trafficking. When Activista started, our focus was on hunger-free campaign, land rights campaign, and we went around the country to sensitize the people. Why? Why are women's land ownership important? Because in the land ownership, we talked about three things, access, control, and ownership. Because sometimes women don't have access to these farmlands. Control. They cannot use the farmland for other purposes that they want. For example, if they want to turn that place into a castle plantation or an orchard, they don't have the control, they don't have the ownership. So we look at all these three things. If they don't have ownership, let them have control or they have access to the land so that they can do their farming product. So these all are embedded into the campaign. We mobilize seven women to travel with the team to join the whole of Africa to go to Kilimanjaro. But it was about showing to the world, showing to the leaders that enough is enough and women's land rights need to be protected. But Hansa, I call a cobekir, and I'm sorry, and I'm flowing Dunda Kundo. 
kamu soli training ka alkalo ko mandi na ada nyaton ko se folu ka kata nyawo nyan hani sail na na to momenti ma soto no jahal kon ko wolen kon ko jangote gambia mu mebe aksone yete mu solu dapansi mus jama wulta banko fanna bela ntata ntata sele kon ko santo wurta je nganna la finna ko yitandi na fengo me yalon kon talemo ma soto no so ne ya kono andun ta nyini la kole ya kono aksone yete nata na simfata ko teke na fulo dundi molu kunto meli yalon ko yibota gambia banko kanjang itata kelo la musolie mountain kilimanjaro nte fanan kumba kundi ngobe o molu konole muso nyanta keno soto lale ko kewo ka soto nyaming kewo yala flota muso yala kilimota ngof taming ke jenga nyina itandi la kon to lafta ay kenga luwati andu inata na da ko ko iba kala nga luwati le o dali lole yati nan to fanan birinji tan santo nsita na west africa mu mebe nsita ge nga mit ko ko nga miti ngoki je sanka ko mande kini manjaro de kara reson say momo ibe murle la banko kan ibita ibe o kibaro nyin ne tala iya futandi say atuta banku o banku ila man sale bulu pro aba keno le luati nyame yente men jete mbe jamento mbota na not bangle nata crr south nata munna nko nata tiele do kuja pro nsim fan soto no nyame ni a jambe o be kela keno la man tarambul me alonko aben kontana andum be do ko ke no la gen sim fam balundu no je nyame keno ni ya di mari le ko ko jando ku ni ya do ku nyina o jaro iba talebu le ta seli do yitandila andum bo jente sey jeti selo te nyina selo te jar sango san selo te o dali lo wala en sambandi nan jang andum lafta nga fendo ku jang mbe mendo mala mbe fendo mala fana um fango mendo ku ka tum balo nal nga do ku nyawe as a youth network we believed that engaging um, by young people constructively um, by to participate in the political processes of our country is of paramount importance because one of our objective is to empower and enable young people to actively participate in political processes and decision making that affects their lives so this is why we shifted to that dimension during the um, parliamentary election we had what is called not too young to run so it becomes very very much important for young people to participate in political processes and decision making so that we can influence policies and decisions that affects our lives when you come to the issue of migration and human trafficking what we do is to engage in sensitization use those that came back the survivors to go back to the communities and talk to their peers and talk to parents to understand that this is what they face because many a times they don't know action aid the gambia under the global fund project has contributed towards the eradication of hiv aids and malaria by supporting the elimination of new infections providing care and support through evidence based services provide support on home based care nutritional and educational support for people living with hiv and aids and those affected orphans and vulnerable children respectively our role uh, has a significant um, is of significant importance in the in the national response because um, it has enabled the national uh, response to reach out to people who are very difficult to reach and we have understood that those cohorts of population carries the highest prevalence of hiv and because of actionist intervention we are reaching them we are seeing them we are providing um, hiv programming and health programming with them so that they also have right and act to access to good health right and access for hiv treatment which was uh, a difficult part in in our national response equally the the performance of of the of the institution in terms of reaching out to population has enabled the country to have a high Uh, educational level of hiv prevention in the country that a large number of people in the pop in the general population understood hiv and how to prevent it and how to control it that alone gave us uh, a cohort um, of of knowledge in in the general population in terms of hiv um, elimination in in the future action aid the gambia's work include working with area councils to strengthen governance In 2015, the British High Commission funded a capacity building project, training stakeholders at the Kuntawur Area Council. 
for the first time, the Council conducted community consultations to participate in 2016 annual plans and budget process. Nunto tamandir nyam in Bijang, a Wolom yin to control found a cassi. In Kana budget old dada, and Kana cool dada, and because in a lalbul and DJ. Nanga bedada, Nasamba Banjun, Ministry of Local Government, Ya Jibe for Animan Sakundala Saratul Tata. Ning Anaman Sakundala Saratonian Tata, Ya approve ya Natinia, Nga Dundi do Konyon Kon. But it Action aid na ta kewe ntoleti fasar la baleti ka tande na ko bonna nyeng senelal le tam o to wo senelal nyanta kan so to la jele albe fengo fengela ila nyanto la me nyanta lo na le ko senelal le bela do ko nyim fola nyanta minkele nen ka wo ke o te ba yela ko na do ko bonna be sela ko mo bakele because fenno me yalon ko ona si tani mantereje a million killing the mola and in Wulke Moro. A corner structural member Banco Kanjang. A laughter I found sono anyama. A laughter Ela Doko Kanyama. Otoo Kama, another Nyatuta bad in Tola. Because Kabenga Village Development Committee will start in a form Nieta Kabila or Kabila. A Kamusukilin Tombo and in Kakilin. The Neolo Bay Tombo. Alkalo ke advise te. O kang nin ka fol men bi je fonden ke ka fo o fanan ka ke jele. Inata ye ma ko ton ko manda wola nga wo development committee fanan londi. Wo development committee fanan to la londo sum da bi janne de bar ka structure ka betia ka fonson anyama action aid le wo din to la kun to ru jang. In addition, a component of the EU funded project include capacity building of area council staff and councillors gender training, capacity building training on plans and budget, an interface between businesses and tax regulators in Central River region. We have engaged the area council by organizing what we call an interface between the area council and the communities. That was a very uh, useful activity. It was, it was helpful simply because um, it created an understanding, understanding between the council and the communities. There were misunderstanding that the council is mismanaging the funds that are generated. And the council are also saying that the communities are not paying tax. But when you bring them together, they were able to resolve some of these problems. <laughs> If you push push the old entries. Every time, every year, events or events or funding your cafe to the Kajesenian. By the Jesenian drew Martina cast of Yamo Fedi because we can Yamo Fedu Ramas or Mole Macad. Until Nadoko Mumenti, Walla Munjin, Kalempo Canning, Ninga Lempo Canning Albulu, and Sajibe Alasula Kul Mumenti, Nalsi C, Memala Kansuloti. Nsajibe, Nsidoko Menkeno Sankono, Nadoko Olke. Era Council Wati Tamita, Nisikumul Teleke Kanu Kafai Katul Tax, Sain Buka Kandu Tax Kadim, Sain Jim Maleka Ol Kadim. Sain Mining, Walemu Nanying Mel Namol Melkatake Biola Tari Kanabul Lola, Ukuru Fananka Juno Era Council, Yofana Boni Era Council, Yasamba Geology. Era Council Sain Teluka Men Sodon, Walemu Lempo Menkada. Sate Molka Lempol Menjo, and in particular Kadilans in Old Menjo, Fanin Namas and Nimol, Wokola Muka Fensoton, Eda Council. Action Aid, the Gambia's target groups, continue to be people living in poverty with a special focus on women, children, youth, and other excluded persons using human rights based approach, HRBA. As Action Aid marks 40, uh, at the end of this CSP, I would like to see more resilient communities to be able to absorb shocks in terms of uh, climate variations and climate impact, especially on women and smallholder farmers. I would like to see more commitments from government in protecting smallholder farmers and protecting them from land grabbers, because we do know that land grab is a major issue that affects food production systems. I would also like to see, in general, 
a transformation in the mindset of Gambians to understand that we are government and government is us and to be bold enough to hold government and public um, officials accountable to the resources that are mobilized and used on our behalf. Action Aid the Gambia will continue to build partnership with government sectors and other civil society organizations to engage them to respond to the needs of people living in poverty. Furthermore, Action Aid will work with people living in poverty to sensitize them to their fundamental human rights with a view to enabling them lead policy advocacy and campaign, igniting demand for public services that respect protect and fulfill their rights, as well as sustain action against poverty and injustice in the Gambia.